There is a lack of intimacy that is rampant in our society right now. People are so disconnected from self that it's creating a disconnect between them and their communities and those that they serve. And the obsession with scalability is really just diluting the service. And that's not okay. With everything that is happening in our world, with everything that is taking place, we need each other more than ever. So over the past few years, we have seen more businesses and leaders becoming obsessed with scalability. If you have a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a leader in this space, I know you've seen this too. More and more coaches and strategists are rising up saying, I can help you scale your business. People are wanting more. They want to go bigger. They want to move faster. But what they don't realize is that all of this is creating a deeper disconnection to each other, to self. There is more illusion when we try and max things out too quickly. There is a dilution of service that happens when you try to scale too fast. And we start to slip into ego-based leadership or pedestal leadership, which I talk about in my book, Potent Leadership. If you haven't gotten your copy yet, grab yours today. And then over the past few years, the great divide only made things worse. So as you all know, as you're all experiencing, no matter where you stand on anything, there is a great divide happening in our world where we are being pitted against one another. But something super interesting has happened due to this great divide that I have been observing in the social media landscape. And that's been the increase of polarization, whether it's sharing opposing beliefs or opposing facts, or just blanket statements to stir people up in your comments. There's been an increase of polarization for attention, right? No matter what you feel, there is a part of you that is striving for attention when we post such polarizing things. There's also this increase in social media activism. And a lot of the social media activism that we see today is highly, highly disconnected. It's like people are just fighting for things and they're not even clear on what it is that they're fighting for. They're just fighting because they think that if they don't, they'll be shamed or canceled, right? And that's the other thing that's happening. The shame culture, the cancel culture. It's horrific what is happening to people in the online space. We see more and more keyboard warriors. I have a lot of those people that come my way super fucking telling of their own human psyche, but the screen is what makes it really easy for us to act in those ways. We're also seeing the infiltration of AI. And I am someone who believes that human is the way we need to go. I think that the fact that we're stepping into this AI space, this is a very dangerous space. All of this, all of it, the polarization, the the activism, the keyboard warriors, all of it, the AI, all of this is leading us to the dehumanization of our society. Everything we know about what it is to be human is being lost. We're losing connection with self. We're losing connection with each other. We're losing the ability to see the human behind the screen. And instead, we're lashing out. We're reacting. We're wanting more. We're wanting to build more. We want to build notoriety. We want to become popular. We want, we want to do all these things while we're becoming more and more disconnected with self and with each other. This is exactly what they want, right? Divide and conquer. They want humanity divided and disconnected because humanity divided and disconnected is much easier to control. And if you're listening to this podcast, I know that you see this too. And I know that you want something different. It's important to understand that in order to experience something different in our world, we need to be different. We need to lead differently. We need to lead our businesses in a different way. At the time of recording this was the time of the, the, when the banks started to collapse. 
Now, if you've been following the agenda for a long time, you know that this is actually part of the plan. This is part of the agenda. This is just the beginning. But what this has done is it's had people either scramble from a place of fear from a place of desperation to keep themselves safe. It's also had other people hide their heads beneath the sand and keep doing what they're doing, being super ignorant of what's happening in the world, running their businesses just as they are, leading just as they were. But then there's others like us who are choosing to do things differently. We're choosing to lead differently. We're choosing to run our businesses differently. We're choosing to show up differently. And all of that begins with the inner work. And I know you know that I'm such a fan of the inner work. This is the start of everything. It's our relationship to self. And when we better the relationship we have with ourselves, we better our leadership. We become better business owners. We become better in our servitude. Now, as the world continues to collapse, because that is exactly what is happening, the world is collapsing. You have to realize that with that, the old ways are also collapsing, which is creating an opportunity for a new way to lead, a new way to show up, a new way to do business, a new way to serve. We get to do this better. We get to be better. This is a very exciting time for us to start showing up for ourselves and for each other. So now is really not the time to go bigger. Now is not the time to move faster. Now is the time to forget your obsession with becoming known, forget your obsession with scalability, forget your obsession with creating more, doing more, forget your obsession with scalability and start to become more intimate while deepening your services. This is what people want. This is what people crave. When they pay for a service, when they hire you for a service, they want to receive that service. When they are in your presence, they want to feel that presence. There is a lack of intimacy that is rampant in our society right now. People are so disconnected from self that it's creating a disconnect between them and their communities and those that they serve. And the obsession with scalability is really just diluting the service. And that's not okay. With everything that is happening in our world, with everything that is taking place, we need each other more than ever, more than you may even realize. We need our communities. We need our leaders. We need our service providers to provide service. We need to be there for each other, to see each other, to hear each other, to acknowledge each other. We need all of this and we need to feel supported along the way. All of us, not just the people that we serve. And we all deserve to experience that. That's the thing. We all deserve to experience a depth of service and a depth of intimacy. Fulfilling your ego-driven goals, the scalability, the more, the better, the faster, all of that is robbing the people you serve of what they truly deserve. It's also robbing them of your presence. And whether you're aware of it or not, this is also robbing you of your own presence. Because these obsessions with these these external goals is taking you away from what is here and now present right in front of you. That is worthy of your attention. This is what is needed in leadership and business today. The people that we serve, they deserve our presence. They deserve our leadership. They deserve our service. This is how we actually build loyalty. The deeper you start to dive within yourself and your own inner work, the more depth you'll cultivate in your leadership and in your business. And then the more intimate you become with yourself and your relationship to self, the more intimacy you'll cultivate in your leadership and your business. It all starts within. Now, there are a lot of questions that you're probably asking yourself, because I know a lot of you are going through this ripple in your business. Things are not working as they once were because the world is different. With the world being different, people are going to act differently. They're going to make different choices. They're going to invest in different things. So of course, we're all going to experience shifts in our business. 
But out of all the questions that you ask, I want to invite you to reframe the most important questions to help you cultivate depth and intimacy in your business and leadership. So here are three question reframes to help you lead with depth and with intimacy. So instead of asking, how can I make more money? Ask yourself, how can I serve on a deeper level? That's how we provide value. How can I serve on a deeper level? This doesn't mean that money doesn't matter. I'm not talking about just giving up and serving for free. That's not, we're not here to be martyrs. But when you provide value, real value, that helps create repeat clients, that helps create Uh, longevity and loyalty in what you're doing. You're giving people what they deserve and people will pay for that. So instead of asking, how can I make more money? Ask, how can I serve on a deeper level? The second question that most people ask is, how can I grow my audience? Like, I really want to grow my audience. The reframe for that is, how can I nurture my community? This is how we build loyalty. So if you've read my book, Potent Leadership, you know that I prefer calling an audience a community because that's what they are. You got to treat them like your community, whether it's an Instagram uh, followers or Twitter followers or Facebook followers, whatever it is, this is your community and you get to treat them as such. So instead of asking, how can I grow my audience? Ask, how can I nurture my community? The community that already exists, the community that's already here, because this is how you will build loyalty. I always tell my clients when they complain about, oh, my last post only got like 50 views. And I'm like, well, if you had 50 people in a room with you listening to what you said, wouldn't that matter? Right? We get so disillusioned because of our screens that we forget, again, the dehumanization. We forget that every like, every follow, that every comment is a person. That's a human being who chose to tap the like button, a human being who chose to follow you, a human being who chose to take the time to comment or to watch your content. That matters. So instead of asking, how can I grow my audience? Ask, how can I nurture my community? And this will help you build loyalty. And then the third question that many business owners and leaders ask is, how can I build my presence? Usually this has to do with the perceived notoriety or the blue check mark, but how can I build my presence? So the reframe for this is how can I become more present? This is how we deepen our presence. So many people are serving others while not being present in the service. So many people are creating content, sharing content, producing content, without being fully present. People deserve our presence and we deserve our presence. So instead of asking, how can I build my presence, like an online presence, ask, how can I become more present? In becoming more present, you deepen your presence and that presence is felt by everyone around you, whether it's online or offline. So I'm going to repeat the three reframes. The first reframe is, how can I serve on a deeper level? This will help you provide more value. The second reframe is, how can I nurture my community? This will help you build loyalty. And the third reframe is, how can I become more present? This will help you deepen your presence. We are living in a deeply disconnected world in disillusioned and illusion times where people are dehumanizing one another while fighting for ego-driven desires and goals. Businesses are losing touch with their communities, with the people that they serve, and leaders are placing themselves on pedestals, disconnecting themselves from their communities. Service is being diluted in exchange for scalability and notoriety. This is not the time to scale. 
This is not the time to do more. This is not the time to go bigger, faster. This is the time to reconnect. We need to reconnect to ourselves, to our world, to each other. And this can only happen when we lead our lives, our legacies, our purpose, our dharma, our businesses with depth and with intimacy. If you loved this episode of Potent Truth, be sure to hit subscribe and you'll get notified every time a new episode airs. If you have any questions or comments to share about this episode, drop them in the comments below and be sure to stay tuned for a new episode of Potent Truth next week. Aho family. Aho family.